Occlusion Laboratory Video Guides, Preliminary Work, Pouring Models. For this exercise, you will need the molds, a vibrator, stone, whip mix bowl, spatula, debubbleizer, and a graduated cylinder. You will also be using the vacuum powered mixer from whip mix. This device contains a vacuum hose, an on and off switch, and a vibrator. First, spray the mold with the bubbleizer. This will reduce surface tension and prevent bubbles. Next, you will pour 40 cc's of water into the whip mix bowl. It is important to remember that measurements vary depending on the manufacturer. In this case, we are using 140 grams of stone for every 40 cc's of water. After the proper amount of water is added to the bowl, you will now insert the stone. In the lab, the whip mix bowl available will be much smaller. It is probably best only to use one package per mixture. This will prevent stone from getting inside the vacuum hose. Once the water and stone are inside the whip mix bowl, you may mix lightly with a spatula. Once the stone is lightly mixed, you may place the lid on top of the whip mix bowl. Once it is sealed, place the vacuum hose in the insert. When ready, place the whip mix bowl inside the mixer. It should start automatically. Leave it mixing from anywhere between 20 to 30 seconds. When time is reached, remove bowl from the mixer. Remove the air hose from the insert and open the lid. You should see a creamy consistency as shown. Now that the stone is mixed, you can turn on the vibrator and place the molds on top. Using a spatula, take some stone and flow it into the mold. A helpful tip would be to do this slowly and flow the stone from one side to the other, watching the stone flow through every crevice. This will ensure that no bubbles will appear on the occlusal surfaces. When done pouring the molds available, you will have to wait for the stone to set before you can pour the others. Remember to clean the bowl, lid, and spatula right away. Throw a bulk of any excess into the garbage, not into the sink. The rest can be rinsed underwater. Once the stone has set, you may pour the rest of the models. Repeat all the steps shown in the video until all six models are poured and set. Once all six models are set, you may then begin to wedge out the models from the mold. Do this gently with a side-by-side -side motion to ensure none of the teeth break. Remember to check the models for any discrepancies. If any occlusal surfaces contain bubbles or voids, the models may have to be re-poured. Once all six models are removed, you must clean the mold and then you are done with the exercise.